Good morning, Buckley. I love you. I love you so much. Good morning, guys. I slept in till 10 o'clock this morning, and I could have slept in even more. That YouTube life is keeping me up late these days, but I'm on the grind, and I love it, and it's all good. This is life right here. Healthier than any food, any workout, is being cuddling with your dog. So I just woke up to uh, FedEx delivering over a package. Let me show you what that package is. Morning, Darius. How's it going? You probably already had a full day by the time I woke up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, my day's already half over. Nice. They wrote me a personal note. Hey Jackson, it was so great meeting you and listening to you speak at CalCon last year. We are so excited to send you our newest flavors, including our not yet released chocolate peanut butter. Oh. It will be available at our website in a few weeks. We can't wait to work with you. More in the future. Team not a move. Not a move. Snickerdoodle, holy f Cookies and cream. Birthday cake. And, and chocolate peanut butter. That's the best flavors I've ever heard. <laughs> this is so awesome that they sent me all of this ice cream. Thank you so much, Natamu. And guys, should I do a food challenge and just like eat all of these at the same time? I'm like almost tempted to. Uh, that would be so much fun, but I also want to savor them. Uh, we'll probably eat them later today. So they sent the ice cream in this like crazy, I don't know if it's dry ice or something. Dude, we have to play with this. So what are we gonna do with Will that? Will you grab a metal bowl in there? Oh yes, yes, yeah, dry ice. Oh, Whoa! <laughs> oh yeah, it's just like thicker, thicker smoke. Whoa! It's like coming down there. Whoa! We're headed out this morning to hike to Mescal Canyon, which uh, you guys have seen. I've I've hiked it a lot this trip. It's it's the best go to. You go up a little mountain in the Santa Monica Mountains. You go down. You see a waterfall. It takes an hour. Done. You're blissed out in nature. Beautiful. So this is not actually a popular weekend hiking spot. These are all wild human animals that live locally in these Malibu hills. Those are their uh, huts and their nests and they live here and uh, you know they're just basking in the sun right now to uh, get in some energy in this tough life that they live out in the wilderness. So it's really cool that we get to uh, observe them in their natural habitat. How are you liking this, Brother Darius? I love it. It rained last night, so all the aromas of nature are just coming right into my so nose and my body, so and it feels so good. Just got back from our little hike, and look who's here. Hello. Jeff, you look more handsome every time I see you. <laughs> You're really growing out to be a good looking dude. Uh, and Darius is making a smoothie. That's right. We got to carve up. Uh, Jack, thank you for bringing this Maridol papaya. Yeah, for sure. Looks absolutely beautiful. Awesome. What do you want for lunch? I have no idea. All right, I got a plethora of items, so let's go do a, let's go do a kitchen tour. Sweet. I'm such a little kid, I had to show Jack the dry ice situation. Thanks, so Not a Moo, not only for ice cream, but for letting us play. <laughs> Isn't it trippy? Yeah.
That looks like my kind of nice cream bowl, bro. <laughs> That's the way I do it too. Load it up with cereal and peanut butter powder. Some of you guys asked in the comments, hey, while your buddy Darius is in town, you should do a podcast. We are about to throw down a little a male eating disorder themed, but not exclusively eating disorder theme. It's just, it's something we talk about, right? Eating disorders with other random topics. With other around. random topics. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be a good uh, podcast session just hanging out with with my bros with these dudes talking about talking about our struggles being vegan men in such a such a female dominant community no we have nothing to complain about but uh yeah it's gonna be good let's do it guys what is up my plant triotic plant loving and plant interested friends out there welcome to another episode of the plant triotic podcast thanks for hanging out I all my homework, yeah. I haven't done anything, everything's fine, I'm fine, just making jokes out of stuff like that. Yeah, because you know what, you can either cry or you can laugh. You might as well laugh, right? It's like so this is how vegans help each other out. Jack's about to go to some like family holiday Passover Seder. You know, it's gonna be animal products there, freaking low vibration foods. This so. guy just saved my life with the with having a meal to have there. Thank Dude, you. That's that, that, that's what we do. That's what friends do. We support each other. So now you can properly carb up and not be under carb as you make small talk with you know uncle jim who says you don't get enough protein oh man last time <laughs> last time there was a debate on cows and dairy it was well it's gonna be a fun time uh, oh god good luck man <laughs> brace for impact <laughs> all right so we recorded a super epic but very intense podcast sharing the deep darkest secrets and experiences from our eating disordered past. I think that's gonna help a lot of people just to get honest with themselves about some of the issues that they may have, addressing them, then also tools and resources to get better and heal, because this is our one life. We don't have time to waste. We don't have time to be in an eating disordered mode where we, we have less beautiful life experiences and uh, traveling and discovering and experimentation just because of silly things like body image and putting health and food on this pedestal. It's not as important as we think. Uh, love and experience and life is important. So we recorded a great podcast, chilled out a bit. Now my crazy friend from the high school days, Jordan, is coming to have dinner with us. I'm making like a chili with sweet potatoes and potatoes and he's coming in the door right now. Let's go say hi to Jordan. Hey Jordan. Yo. What's up? What's up? What's up? Uh -oh. how, was, how was your day of dance? It was so good. I am in a lot of pain at dancing. It's really, really hard. <laughs> it is hard, but yeah. your craft is really beautiful. Maybe I'll even insert like some trippy piece that you've done here in the vlog. Oh, that would be great. Yeah, that'd be rad. Yeah. All right, well, I made guys like a beautiful chili. Look at that. Just like so colorful and beautiful. Tomatoes, barbecue sauce, beans, veggies. Um, and then we got, we got beets, because I'm the beet king. We have leftovers, hummus under there. Brand spanking new. Potatoes, gorgeous, salad, avocados, apple cider vinegar, lime dressing, more potatoes, just abundance of plants and it's so beautiful and I'm so grateful to be amongst friends and to eat them and we we, 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 we all won the lottery. Congratulations. Like you said, you're life lottery. <laughs> Freshly juiced beets and ginger. Beautiful color. It is. And taste test the potion. 